from player to full-time assistant coach in five years. That's a fast move upward, but it's the move Jerry Meter has made at Michigan. A starting linebacker and captain in the late 70s, Meter now coaches the defensive line. Well, it was a transition in the sense that you have to learn, you being an offensive lineman at one time would know, learn about feet and base and how to stay under people. As a linebacker, you tend to be up a little bit higher and you were able to see what was going on. As a defensive lineman, you've got to react to what's going on without necessarily seeing it. Um, so that was a little bit of a change. But other than that, it helped as a linebacker because you had to know everything that was going on in front of you as well as behind you. And I think that was a, that was a factor in my favor when I first took over the job. The toughest transition to me would have been from a player to coach Players look at coaches being tough, old, mean guys. Now, all of a sudden, the shoe's on the other foot. Well, you know, Jim, it's funny. Uh, I can always remember thinking to myself, particularly during double sessions, I'd be sitting up in that afternoon in the, in the bed, sweating to death, waiting for the afternoon practice, and I'd say, boy, I'd like to be on the other side of that ball. I'd like to be down in that nice, cool staff room thinking out what I'm going to do to these guys, and I guess I kind of did what I was thinking of doing all the time. Is it easier coaching, or is there more pressure than the player? I think uh, there's there's probably similar pressures. Uh, physical pressures, of course, are much greater for the player. I think the mental stress is, is something that a coach is always working with and trying to overcome at one time or another uh, fatigue and whatnot. Um, I don't know if they're related or not. I just know one thing, that at times coaches do have to work hard, more hours probably than uh, anybody ever expected or would think that a coach works. But that's part of the job, and you, you learn to like it and love it. But the playing memories are still fresh for Jerry Meter, and once you get past the modesty, a day in South Bend stands out. Well, hmm. <laughs> to be honest with you, Jim, I always considered myself lucky to be on that field at times. Um, I guess probably one of the highlights uh, playing-wise, personally for me, was probably the Notre Dame game my senior year. Um, whether I played a great game or not, I don't know, but I was lucky enough to come up with an interception that helped turn the, the tide, I think, a little bit. Plus the fact my father having played there back in 1943 and 46, it was all kind of a special thing for me, and I think that was probably one of the personal highlights of my life was the Notre Dame game. Jerry Meter have those aspirations that a lot of assistant coaches have of going on to be a head coach somewhere and putting together the kind of record that Shem Beckler has? Well, to be quite honest with you, Jim, I just want to be a good assistant coach right now. And if I can get by one year as a good assistant coach under Boa, other things I hope will fall into place. Spoken like a true assistant coach. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> You have got them all brainwashed, don't you? No, not really. But uh, <laughs> but uh, Jerry is going to be a very, very fine coach. And um, if he can uh, develop and be as good a football coach as he was a player, we're going to have a great coach on our hands. You know, one of the things that is most impressive, I think, about you, and it's when you recruit a young player, you tell them how Michigan has got all these great programs for them and anything they want to do, medical, engineering, architecture, but you also say, and if you want to be a coach, we've got a great program too. And this is one of those right. disciples, I, isn't it? I wish we could get more of those youngsters into coaching, you know, but I think what they do is to look at what we do and say, hey, I don't want any <laughs> part of that. What we do? <laughs> I kidding? mean, what we do as coaches. Oh, I get it. Say, that one. Uh, well, this it, television stuff's easy. Oh, well, yeah, this is uh, this is great here, I mean, <laughs> compared to coaching. <laughs> but you enjoy that, and I know that you, it's an honorable profession, and you'd like to see more people get involved in coaching, wouldn't I'd you? I'd like to see more good people, sure. Um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's tough now. Uh, it's tough to get jobs in the high school level, uh, and it's tough on the collegiate level as well. I mean, it's hard to move up, but nevertheless, uh, you know, a good man in coaching can... Uh, can be successful. Well, we've got one at Michigan, and they also have a very fine coach at the University of Washington. His name is Don James. He's got an outstanding program in the Pac-10, and they're the next opponent for Michigan, and we'll be back to take a look at them, so stay with us.